chronic limb threatening ischemia (CLTI), also referred to as critical limb ischemia (CLI) and limb threat, is an advanced stage of peripheral artery disease (PAD). It is defined as a triad of ischemic rest pain, arterial insufficiency ulcers, and gangrene. The latter two conditions are jointly referred to as tissue loss, reflecting the development of surface damage to the limb tissue due to the most severe stage of ischemia. Compared to the other manifestation of PAD, intermittent claudication, CLI has a negative prognosis within a year after the initial diagnosis, with one-year amputation rates of approximately 12% and mortality of 50% at 5 years and 70% at 10 years. CLI was conceived to identify patients at high risk for major amputation, but the increasing prevalence of diabetes mellitus has led to a broader conception of limb threat that includes the risk of amputation associated with severely infected and non-healing wounds. Types Critical limb ischemia is further subdivided into rest pain and tissue loss. topic rest pain rest pain is a continuous burning pain of the lower leg or feet it begins or is aggravated after reclining or elevating the limb and is relieved by sitting or standing it is more severe than intermittent claudication which is also a pain in the legs from arterial insufficiency topic tissue loss tissue loss is the development of arterial insufficiency ulcers or gangrene due to peripheral artery disease topic diagnosis Critical limb ischemia is diagnosed by the presence of ischemic rest pain, arterial insufficiency ulcers and gangrene. Other factors which may point to a diagnosis of critical limb ischemia are a Berger's angle of less than 20 degrees during Berger's test, a capillary refill of more than 15 seconds or diminished or absent pulses. Critical limb ischemia is different from acute limb ischemia. Acute limb ischemia is a sudden lack of blood flow to the limb, for example caused by an embolus whereas critical limb ischemia is a late sign of a progressive chronic disease. Treatment Treatment mirrors that of other symptoms of peripheral artery disease, and includes modifying risk factors, revascularization via vascular bypass or angioplasty, and in the case of tissue loss, wound debridement. Research In 2011 PCMVVEGF-165 was registered in Russia as the first in-class gene therapy drug for treatment of peripheral artery disease, including critical limb ischemia. In 2014, a landmark clinical trial was initiated to better understand the optimal revascularization technique for the treatment of CLI. As of April 2017, the best endovascular versus best surgical therapy for patients with critical limb ischemia best CLI has enrolled nearly half of the 2,100 patients needed to complete the trial. A similar study, Basel II bypass versus angioplasty in severe ischemia of the leg, is being conducted in the United Kingdom.